Well, hello, hello, guys. Welcome back to Red Lentil Healing. We're doing our Chakra Insight Oracle for the week of February 15th. Today is actually the 16th. I didn't do videos yesterday because I was doing some self-care. I needed to follow my own advice, which is take care of yourself first. So instead of being a hypocrite, I actually took care of myself first yesterday or at least tried to. So I'm doing the video today. So um, welcome and hello, everyone. I'm going to start this off a little bit on a somber note, but I'm going to just do this anyway. Um, I want to dedicate the Chakra Inside Oracle in memory of a dear friend that I lost this weekend. Um, her, name is, her name is Beverly. Such a beautiful, beautiful spirit. Um, such a strong woman, a strong woman of color, a true matriarch to her family. Um, the person who for the last nine years at work I would go to to ask how to navigate certain polit work political situations or talk to her about life and politics and we bonded many many years ago on um, Bev was a breast cancer survivor and I had just lost my mother to breast cancer so that's how we bonded and just maintained relationship over several states and several years um, lost her this Friday her um, form of cancer came back very, very aggressive. She fought privately, didn't tell many people, myself included. I just talked to her um, earlier, very early in the year, check in on her. Um, she didn't mention anything, so absolutely devastated. She leaves behind children, um, sister, family all up and down the eastern seaboard. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna light a candle. And like I said, dedicate today's Chakra Insight Oracle to my dear friend, Bev. Bev, I love you. We love you. Um, we are all crying at work. <laughs> we are still like, what in the entire hell? Um, but you know, you're watching us. This was a, a woman of extreme faith with a big F and faith with a little F. So Bev, this is dedicated to you. So, Okay. Um, before we get into the reading, reading, I also want to do a little bit of housekeeping. Um, tomorrow, no, Thursday, I think, the 18th, whenever the 18th is, don't forget to check out the charity live stream um, on Johnny's channel, Tarot's Apprentice, with him, um, Jen Lynn, and Becca, um, that uh, is going to um, service animals, so great charity, um, the 18th at 8 p.m., go and check them out um they've already started asking for questions for the 18th so go find tarot's apprentice community tab and to go um reply to his request for questions there also um shay um blissful divination is shay shay and i are going to be doing another live i believe that's this friday night um probably around seven eastern time um but i will confirm and do another community post um so check shay and i out this weekend um, for just giggles and fun. And then speaking of giggles and fun, um, don't forget that Petty Party on Jace or Nosh's channel is this Saturday. I believe we have a special, she has a special guest this Saturday. Um, I think she's still keeping with the race topic for this weekend. But again, um, check out this Saturday. Jason Naj at 7 p.m. Eastern Time for Petty Party. All right, so we're still technically in Mercury retrograde, so that's going to end in the next, uh, we're almost through it, guys. It ends week, next, week after next or next week. Yeah, week after next, because um, I keep forgetting it's still like mid-February, even though it feels like we're getting closer to March. So with that, we're still doing our self-care oracle for the month, so um just new ways and tips and tricks for self-care. Like I said, I took my little self-care sabbatical yesterday and forced my black behind <laughs> to sit and rest um, and read books and eat snacks. So let's find out what everybody else, what universe is telling us for self-care for the week. So let's get right into this reading. First card we have is throat chakra. Well, this is all about self-expression, assertiveness, self-control, and direction. You notice the turtle's moving. You can actually see his little um, 
prince in the sand back there because he's moving forward. What is he moving forward to? He's moving in the direction of his higher self. That's truly what the throat chakra is. The throat chakra is making sure that you speak divine truth, listen to divine facts, wavelengths, frequencies, messages that raises your vibration. It's all about authenticity, speaking and listening to things that help you be in your true authentic self. So when you use will for the throat chakra, you that's a way of exerting your free will and exerting your free will to a higher ascension, to a place of being your true authentic self. So speak, express yourself, use your self-control in a way that heightens your connection to spirit and your sacred contract. So that's what throat chakra will card means for you. We're also getting our um, third eye chakra, I'm sorry, our crown chakra with guidance. This is all about support, love, signs, and directions. Ask and you shall receive. Ask for help and it will show up. And sometimes it shows up not always in the ways we think it's going to show up. Sometimes we will connect to spirit and say, I really need help. I don't know. Oh my gosh, you know, taxes are due and I need a good CPA. And then you're sitting at a traffic light, you know, a day later and a bus <laughs> drives by with an advert on it for, you know, Johnson and Riggle, you know, tax attorneys. And you're like, holy crap, that was the sign. That was the, I needed, gui I asked for guidance and I received it. So ask for that support, ask for signs, ask for directions to help with anything that you need from spirit and spirit and make sure you're open to receiving the directions, the signs, the support, the love and guidance through spirit will have your back. Just be open to it, okay? Ask and then be open. Don't ask and be closed off or I only want it to come in a dream. Or it needs to come from Uncle Fillmore when he calls me for our weekly chat every Thursday. No, when you ask for guidance, signs, directions, immediately also say, and I am open to receiving them however you can get them to me. And spirit will actually make it a lot easier because you're going to be paying attention. Okay. The last card we get is third eye chakra with dreams. Okay, this is all about messages, signs, symbols, and guidance. So, I love, we're going to put these two together, actually. Here's how. So, when you're going to be open to guidance, hey, I need help. Spirit, help me. Give me the signs and the directions. What it needs, what you also need to do, too, is asking for that guidance. Remember, relinquishing the control of how you get the message, asking, being open, also tune into that third eye because you're also going to get more signs, directions, and guidance through your third eye chakra. So a lot of upper, this is all upper chakra work this week, particularly with these two cards. So being open, your dreams are a great way, another way to help get divine support and guidance from universe, okay? Be open to it, ask for however else it comes. And then what I say is in addition to that, instead of solely focusing on the dreams, pay closer attention to your dreams because that will help give additional supporting messages to whatever guidance you're asking for. Okay, let's get our self-care tip for the week. <laughs> this is spirit. I love when spirit is just all together. So hopefully you can see this. This is your dream journal. Get your dream journal because again, Pay attention to these dreams, third eye chakra, when you've asked for guidance this week. So you can also help exert your throat chakra, your will, your expression, your assertiveness. So when you're asking for messages and help getting the dreams, use... <laughs> that was funny. Had a little incident. Use your dream journal to write down your messages that you get. All right, guys, hope this helps. I'm going to blow out this candle before my house catches on fire. Until the next video, take care of yourself, guys. Bye.